Hello, my beautiful fake Sylvester dancers. Welcome to your very first day of virtual class. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys dancing with me today. So before we start, we're going to do attendance, as we shall do every day. So when I point to your name on our wonderful St. Patrick's Day themed attendance sheet, I would like you to say here in a big, big voice and raise your hand up high. Ready? Here we go. Caitlin? Here. Ivalice? Hello. Valeria? Hi. And Milena? Wonderful. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Now, before we get started, we're going to set up our space and figure out what it means to be dancing at our homes, but still together. So to begin, you're going to make sure that you have enough room to dance safely and as big as you can. So we're going to look around our space. We're going to make sure that there's nothing breakable or fragile anywhere nearby. So make sure you can check with your families. You're going to make sure that you can see the screen okay from where you're going to dance, from your dancing space. And to make sure that you have enough space, we're going to do the star check. Ready? So you're going to put your arms out wide and your legs out wide and twist around. And make sure that you can't touch anything, that you have enough space here. Then you're going to jump to the side. Whoop! Twist around, have enough space. Then we're gonna do the star check on the floor. So, legs out, arms out. See if you can do a snow angel without touching anything. If you can, that means you have enough space and you are ready to dance. Now, before we begin as well, now that you have your dance space set up and we've done our attendance, I'm going to tell you a little bit about homeroom. So parents, guardians, this part is important for you to hear as well. <laughs> so we have our homeroom app, which a lot of you guys have been seeing videos and updates on already. So you know how that works, you know how that goes. But since we're meeting from outside of the classroom, we're going to be using that even more soon. So, I'm going to be posting updates during class times, or as close to class times as we can, where it, there will be links to these videos, just like this one, every time we have a class, so twice a week, until we are able to meet back together in person. So you can click on those links, go down the list, and it'll be just like taking a regular class. I'm also going to be posting updates, and fun practice tips and challenges. Now, the first challenge that I have for you is putting up and posting practice videos of yourself dancing. So you can either be showing me your warm up, you can show me you practicing the recital dance. It's a good idea. I will put the link to the recital dance song at home as well. You can show me any one minute video of you practicing. And for each practice video that you show me, you're gonna get a sticker on your sticker chart, which I'll be making. And at the end, once we are able to meet up again, I will give you your sticker chart and you can see all of the amazing practicing that you've done over these past couple weeks. So, homeroom, very important. All right, we've talked about homeroom. We've found our space by doing the star check and we have done attendance. I think we're ready to dance. Oh, one more thing. Let's make sure to go over our rules. Ready? Stay on your dot, hands to yourself. We all dance like an ensemble. Beautiful. And remember, especially now, even though we're far away from each other, kind of, we still are dancing as an ensemble, which means we are watching and listening and supporting each other as a team. You can support each other even more by going onto Homeroom and watching other people's practice videos. And you can like them and comment on them, and we can keep our dance community strong. All right, here we go.